Hello, good evening. Hello, Tanya. Hello, Jenny. How are you? Hello, good evening. Oh, okay. Jenny is on the bus, I know. She's coming. She's coming. Okay, we were reviewing yesterday a lesson with uh, reading comprehension about falling in love. And that was the topic. So let me see, let me find the topic for today. Are you in love is the title of this. So Tanya, you were absent yesterday, right? Yes, well, today is the only day that I can enter to that class because it's my day off. Oh, you work in a call center or something like that? Yes, and I work from 3.30 to 11 p.m. That's why only today, but I have been checking that video. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. So um, which call center do you work for? Well... Currently, I'm working at home. However, it is for the performance. Which, which account? In Hilton's account. Gilbert. Mm. Hilton. Ah, uh, Hilton, making reservations. Yes, and also customer service as well. Sales and customer service, both. Yeah, I know. I have a friend that is in San Miguel and is working for that account too. Oh, really? I was, uh, I was working for teleperformance also. I quit in May this year. Oh. Yeah. I was really? in Which IT. account do was working? Well, I began uh, two years ago in AT&T, but for tech support. Mm -hmm. And then on January 2021, I moved to IT, to an IT department. It was uh, something related with Mexico. It was a, a security operations center. I was depending on Mexico. So I was not more an agent. I was like administrative support. And then uh, till May this year, I was working so. But now I'm, I'm in concentrics. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, you have a lot of experience in that area. I think IT is one of the most difficult accounts. Wait, well, yeah. I, 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 was, I, was, I, I was working three times for, 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 for TP. The first account, it was, um, let me see. I don't remember. Choice Hotels. Then I, I, I moved to the U.S. and then come back and I worked for 7-Eleven. That was customer service. And then finally I was in 2020 for AT&T. But in another call centers, I was AT&T sales and AT&T customer service. So that's why maybe they hired me for tech support. And uh, well... But now I'm in Concentrics, but I'm not an agent. I'm working for co corporate uh, position. I'm depending on the US. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, I feel great. It is, it, it, it is, not, it is not exactly a call center because they are, they are nice. <laughs> they are really nice. They are very, very, very human, very kind with me. And oh my God, I, I didn't know. I didn't know concentric so what was like that. I didn't know. Concent a call center is one of the business that Concentrix brand has. So I'm working for the other part because I'm, I'm bringing services as a web designer and, and creative services for the rest of the companies all over the world. So that is my, that is my position. Probably, I don't know if this will be that, um, I don't know. I don't know what will happen the next month with my English classes. I don't know because I'm I'm beginning to feel a little bit pressure. <laughs> right, you have two things together at this moment. <laughs> yeah, and I'm studying also. I'm studying. I'm studying at ITCA. I'm studying a, a technical engineering in software de development. So I have a lot of things to do. Yeah, I think a lot of things um, to do. Mm -hmm. Me too. I noticed. 
kind of difficult because as well I'm studying at the university, but I'm studying marketing and international business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So that is that is uh, uh, right now. I'm I'm beginning to feel pressure and and tired. So maybe maybe I don't know. I I will finish this course. I will finish this course that next week. I think this week is the final, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what am I going to do. So let's. We are going go. to meet you. You're huh? amazing teacher. Ah, thank we are going you. to meet you. Yeah, you're you're nice too. All of the groups that I have attended are nice. I I'm just uh, kind of busy. So, but I have to do this because if not, I cannot advance. If not, let me share my screen so I can be uh, in the reading yesterday, we had some uh, contents in a kind of grammar, grammar, a uh, grammar explanation about the article that was, oh, it's duplicated, okay. So let's uh, listen to this audio for the explanation. After what you have read, can you tell us which one is more difficult for you? Falling in love or staying in love? Share your opinion on our discussion box. Okay, so according to the reading we have yesterday, what is more difficult for you? Falling in love or staying in love? We are only two, per, two people or how many people we have? We have three. Jenny is at the microphone, so I don't know if she's going to give an opinion. And Rosio, are you there, Rosio? Rosio? No. No, she's not there. She's just, you're the only one, Tanya. <laughs> you're the okay. only one. Uh, but did, you, did you do the reading or did you see something? No. Yes. Yes, I think it is more difficult to be stay in love because you should have more like confidence in the other person. You share all about your um characteristics, you know, to the other people without yes. have features. to features. be afraid. Without be afraid. Right. Yeah. Is characteristics is more for uh, objects and a kind of explanations, but for people is features. Features. Okay. Features. Yeah, I agree with you. It's it's harder than uh, to stay in love than falling in love because falling in love is a lot of times during the life, especially in your age, especially when we are. <laughs> very young we fall in love oh my god we have you fall in love a, a lot of times a lot of times and we think that is the real love but uh, it is not to love someone is to accept it uh, with bad and uh, good and bad ones good and bad ones and at this time is is we have to know very well this person in order to see uh, who uh, in fact, it is. If we don't know them, a lot of people is, is like marrying. And when they get married, they, they said, uh, they said um, that, hey, what, 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 who are you? Who are you? Because I don't know you. I thought I knew you, but now I don't know you. I, I'm seeing you. But it's not a, it's not the person that I thought you were, and they they get in, they 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 are in shock because they said, "Hey, you used to be very very cute and kind and sweet, but now you are always angry and you are always shouting and you're always and you're not talking to me." 
that that happened that happened a lot a lot in the first year and if you don't love this person a lot uh, everything is going to the to the trash so elena did you did you did you uh, well i i know you entered late but the the reading was about uh, falling in love and stay in love and the question is what is more difficult for you stay in love or falling in love um sorry teacher can you repeat me it's because i have a lot um how do you say ruido noise okay it's very noise <laughs> here very in my noisy. house ah noisy 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 and ruidoso y ruidos noise Okay, the reading yesterday or, or we were making, do you remember that it was the difference between falling in love and staying in love, right? Yes. Okay, so which one do you think is more difficult? Mm. To fall in love or to stay in love? I think stay in love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what uh, Tanya said why do you think that it's because okay when I'm falling in love mm -hmm. it's because I know the other person and if I see a thing that don't like me about the other person maybe uh, after mm -hmm. uh, the, I lose this love that I falling mm -hmm. you know, are, are they feeling for the other person and and, and it's okay because we are uh, knowing i think mm -hmm. estamos conociendo. Mm -hmm. but stay in love no. we are knowing think... each other knowing each other se conocen entre ambos o sea a la medida que usted conoce él lo conoce a usted entonces knowing each other that is the expression okay thank mm -hmm. you and Staying in love is more difficult because um, no, it's only no the responsibility, but we need well for staying in love. Eh, we need to uh, have uh, I don't know how to say poner o sea, los dos las dos personas both eh, parts. I have They're to make both. an effort. Exactly. They mm -hmm. both are have to make an effort. Mm -hmm. And I think this is more difficult because no, it depends for me or for the other person mm -hmm. uh, individually, I think. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a kind of a lot of people is saying marriage is not about love, it's about to accept, to acceptance the other part and to comprehend that not always you will have what you want. You have to, uh, to, to accept and to say, okay, this time we will do what you want to do. And the other time we will do the, the, one, the one that I want. But if the, the person is just, is just uh, oblig uh, like considering doing uh, the things that, that he or she wants, it is not a uh, balance. It is a kind of, it is not 50-50. Sometimes it's 55 and 45 or something like that because there is, there is one that is always uh, balancing the situation. Okay, so Catherine, what do you think? Did you, uh, did you make the reading? Did you read? Did you read the, the paragraph about falling in love and staying in love and the differences? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, okay. Um, a comparison? Comparison. Mm. Comparison? Mm -hmm. No, it's okay. not a comparison. Is what do you think is more difficult to fall in love or to stay in love? Um, 
I know. No entendí totalmente. <ríe> Sorry. La pregunta o la lectura. Eh, que me voy conectando a teacher entonces. Mm. Y ayer estuvo. Ajá. Ayer estuvo en la lectura. Con ayer no nos conectamos. ¿Cómo no? Ayer estuvimos en clase. Ah, no, ya me acordé. No nos conectamos. Pero es cierto. Entonces fue el, sí, porque no tenía inter. Entonces fue el martes. El martes no estuvo en la lectura. No, teacher, porque estaba lloviendo y no tenía inter. Y no hizo el video. La... Um, no, sorry. Mm. Ok, ok. So you cannot give us an opinion. Ok, it's ok. It's ok. So, let's see, we will continue. Did you finish the lesson the four? The lesson four? It has to be completed for today. Okay, we send you a reminder through the WhatsApp group so you can check it and please uh, try to have it done for tonight. Okay. Finish. You finished. Okay, perfect. Yes. Congrats. Okay, this lesson is would be for for Monday next week. But that would be a we will be like reviewing this. Okay. Number five, let's lesson objective. In this class, you will listen to a conversation about jobs and job requirements where germs and short responses will be used. En esta clase escucharán una conversación sobre trabajos y sus requisitos of donde gerundios. Acuérdense que los gerundios son el ING, ¿verdad? El verbo con el ING. Y respuestas cortas serán usadas. Ok, conversation. I need a job. Probably something we have to read. Let me see. Hi, thank you for joining us again. Ready to listen to the conversation? This time you will listen to job and job requirements, as well as gerunds and short responses. Remember to always practice the conversations with a friend. I need a job. Part. Okay, this is a dialogue and we will read it first to check pronunciation. Conversation, I need a job. Then, I'm so broke. I really need a, to find a job. Brad, so do I. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? Dan, how about this? A door-to-door -door salesperson to sell baby products. Brad, like diapers and things? No, thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Dan, well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. Brad, that sounds like fun. I like traveling and I've never been on a cruise ship. Then it says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. Brad, that's okay. I don't mind working long hours if they pay is good. Uh, if the pay is good. What's the phone number? It's 555-3455. And uh, sometimes when we are given uh, phone numbers in the United States is 555-3455. The first ones are uh, one by one and the rest are in pairs. So you can say one by one, the whole number, but at the end you can say 3455, that's okay. Okay, let's see which uh, which gerunds would mm, let me see if we have gerunds here. Yeah. 
clearance. Okay. I don't see. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see one. Okay, so can you identify the gerunds in the dialogue? Can you please tell me which ones? Yes. Mm -hmm. For instance, the first one that I see it is selling. Mm -hmm. Another one, it is traveling. Mm -hmm. And the last one that I see it is working. Okay, yeah, it's exactly, yeah. We have three, selling, traveling, and working. Okay, so let, let's begin with pronunciation. A. Listen. I'm trying to open this. Okay, Tanya, you're the first one. Can you please read the dialogue with, well, we have four, uh, with Elena. Uh, one is Dan and the other is Brad. Which okay. one do you want to play, Dan or Brad? Um, for me, Dan, it's okay. Okay, okay. Now, so you're Brad, Tanya. Okay, okay let, let's begin, Elena, please. Okay. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listen on the internet? Listed on the internet? Mm -hmm. How about this? A door-to-door -door salesperson to sell baby products? Like diapers and things? No, thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. I may shake that one out. I might. I'm, oh, sorry. I might check that one out. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant, assistant? Mm -hmm. in entertainment mm -hmm. director or cruise, cruise ship? On a cruise ship. Oh, on a cruise ship. Mm -hmm. That sounds like fun. I like traveling and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says, here you have to work every day while the ship it is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. What's the phone number? It's 555 five, 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 five. Okay, perfect, perfect. Clapping. Okay, now we will have Rocio and Catherine. I don't know if Rocio will 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 uh, answer because she's on mute and is not answering. Yeah, maybe she's just listening. Hmm. There's no one more here. It's not that say Isaac here. No. Ah, uh, <laughs> Catherine. <laughs> You okay, will play teacher. the whole dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're done and you're bred at the same time. <laughs> okay. okay, let's begin. Mm -hmm. I'm so, so broke. Mm -hmm. I really need to find a job. I really? I, I really need to find a job. Mm -hmm. So do I. Do you see... Anything good li listened? Listened. Um, they listened. Listened. Uh, list listened. No, listened. Um, they listened. Así como lo mira en español, listened. Ah, okay. Good. Oh, listen. Brad is here. <laughs> I saw his. Uh, Jenny's here. Can you please help with the dialogue, Jenny? Yes, but uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. okay. Okay, so Catherine is done and your breath. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's begin again. Catherine. 
Uh, damn, okay. Yes. I'm, I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. Mm -hmm. So do I. Do you see anything with listen on the internet? Listen. No, it's not listening. Listen. It's listen. Uh, sorry, teacher. I, I, but I, I, I see the conversation on my phone, but if can you help me please set it on a Zoom for the, the... No, no se puede agrandar porque es YouTube. Entonces no le puedo ah, hacer okay. como si fuera imagen, sí, pero como es YouTube ya está la pantalla completa ahorita. Ok, ok, ok. okay. Mm -hmm. Listed. Ok, I, I try, I try again. Ok, mm -hmm. ok. Uh, Listed. Ah, ok, sorry. So do, so do I. Do you see anything to listed on the internet? How about this? Mm -hmm. A door to door sales person. Sales person. Sales. Sales person to sell baby product. Huh? Okay. Like a diaper and things? No. Like diapers and, and, and things. Like diaper and thin? No, think. In any way, I'm not good at sealing. Well, I am. My check that that one out. Oh, here's one for you. I'm assistant. And mm -hmm. entertainment. Director on a cruise ship. Mm -hmm. That sounds like fun. Mm -hmm. I like traveling and I've never been on a cruise ship. Mm -hmm. It says here to have to work every day while, while the ship is at sea. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours. If the pay is good, what is the phone number? It fine, fine, fine. Three, four, fine, fine. Okay, okay, okay. Clapping. Jenny, you have to practice your S at the end. I didn't. I didn't hear any S on the pronunciation. Yes. Any, 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 any. I don't. I yes, don't, I. Yeah. I don't know if something in on your on your on your <laughs> teeth uh, that is not allowing you to pronounce the S. I don't know because uh, you're making all the time. So try to try try to try to mention the okay. S because when is. For, for example, a cruise ship, yeah, I listen to that. Uh, but when it's, uh, when it's in the middle, yeah, it's just, you're pronunci just pronunciating. But when it's at the end, you're not pronunciating. Hmm. That is a, a really, really, really okay. hard problem. Okay, translation. Translation. Una, dos, tres, cuatro, yeah. cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. Okay. Dos cada una. Cuatro. Bye. Las primeras dos intervenciones las va a hacer Tania. De I'm so broke hasta internet. ¿Ok? Ok. I'm so broke. Eh, es, estoy quebrado. Estoy tan quebrado. Uh -huh. I really need to find a job. Yo realmente necesito encontrar un trabajo. Uh -huh. So do I, estoy de acuerdo o estoy en las mismas, no sé bien cuál es la... Yo también. La, yo también, ok. Uh -huh. Yo también. So do I, yo también. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? ¿Puedes ver algo bueno listado en el internet? Uh -huh. Okay, continue, Jenny. The next two. Okay. 
How, how about this? Uh, ¿Qué es eso? Okay, sobre eso? How about this is, ¿qué tal este? ¿Qué tal este le está diciendo? Okay. Lo todo es también al door to door. Ok. ¿Qué, ¿Qué tal este? A door to door. Uh -huh. Salesperson. Ok. A door to door. Sales, salesperson. Um, I don't know, say door to door. Un vendedor de puerta a puerta. Mm. Ok. ¿Qué tal esto? Un, ver, un vendedor de puerta a puerta uh, con productos de, de bebés. ¿Para? ¿Para qué? Ahí dice to Para sell. Bebés. To sell. ¿Qué es to sell? Mm. ¿Qué es sell? Sell. Vender. Ajá. Entonces, tu sell, ¿qué es? Para, Para vender, vender productos producto. de bebé. Ajá. That is the translation. Uh -huh. Ok. Um, Brad. Falta la de Brad. Yeah. Like a diaper in thin. Uh, like diapers. Uh, no sé, pan. Like diapers. Ajá, ¿verdad que things. puede? Ajá. Yeah. ¿Cómo qué? ¿Cómo qué? Like ¿Cómo, se dice ¿Cómo se dice diaper? Yeah. ¿Qué es un diaper? Pañales. Ajá, como pañales. pañales. Y, ¿Y qué más? ¿Y? Pañales y cosas. Ajá, ¿de ahí qué le dice? Cosas. No, uh -huh. thank, no gracias. Ajá. Uh en -huh. anyway, y no gracias y, y. 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 ¿Qué es anyway? Anyway, I. Ay, se me fue. Um. I don't know, teacher. I, I, I don't remember. Anyway, anyway, uh, es como y de toda manera y de alguna forma o de alguna manera. Uh -huh. I'm not good at selling. ¿Qué le está diciendo ahí? No es una. No. Uh, ¿Qué es I'm? Yo. Ajá, ¿yo qué? I am, ¿qué es? I'm not good, ¿qué yo. es? No, ¿Yo qué? No me gusta. No, ahí lo hice like. I'm not good. No es bueno. Ajá, no, no soy. soy. Bueno para las I am, I no soy bueno para... Las ventas. Ajá, para vender. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ok. Let's continue, Elena. The other two. Ok. Um, well, I am. Bueno, yo lo soy. Mm -hmm. I may. I may. I may. I may. Uh, I might check that one out. Um, yo, I don't know, teacher, what is the meaning of might? Might es como una possibility. Es como yo podría. podría. Mm -hmm. Revisar esa. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Yo podría... Revisar esta. Oh, here's one for you. Oh, aquí hay una para ti. Uh -huh. An assistant. 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 Uh -huh. Entertainment director on cruise ship. 
Uh -huh. um, o aquí viene para ti. En asistente. No. La regla cuando hay Director. tres seguidas es tres, uno, dos. Primero se lee la tercera. ¿Cuál es la tercera? Director. Ajá, director de qué director? Se va la primera. Y asistente de entretenimiento. Ajá. Eso es, director en asistente un... de entretenimiento. Ajá, ¿en, en dónde? En un crucero. En un crucero. Ajá, ok. ¿Qué le dijo Brad? That sounds like fun. Eso suena divertido. Uh -huh. I like traveling. Me gusta viajar. Uh -huh. And I've never been on a cruise ship. Y yo nunca estuve en un crucero. No. Past perfect. ¿Cómo se traduce el past perfect? Yo nunca he estado uh -huh. en un crucero. Eso. Vaya. Catherine, le tocan las últimas tres. Ok, uh, teacher. Uh -huh. um, ¿Qué le dijo Dan? Um, it's it's I hers to says, have to work. It, it say, says says it says ah uh, it says here you have to work here it says here. Here, mm -hmm. um, says, 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 uh, así como S -E -S, says, says, mm -hmm. um, no teacher, says, no, um, aquí tú tienes, no, un... S, -E. no, no sé, el verbo, el verbo say, cuál es, Ah, uh, eso es de lo fácil. ¿Cuál es say? A ver, help. ¿Qué es say? Eh, decir. Eso. Uh -huh. Ajá, entonces. Eso sería. Uh -huh. Está en tercera persona porque tiene S. Ajá. Uh -huh. Decir. Esto con la it says, esto dice. Ah, esto dice aquí. Uh -huh. Tú tienes. Uh -huh. Trabajo. Tienes que trabajar, ajá. Todos los días. Ajá, cada día. Cada día. Porque está separado yeah. cada día. Si fuera unido, todos los días. Pero como está separado, es cada ah, okay. día. Uh -huh. Every day. Cada día. Every, to work every day. Will the shift. While. It, while the shift is at sea. Uh -huh. eh, Tiene que trabajar cada día. Yeah. Tiempo. Mientras, while es mientras. Mientras. Uh -huh. Mientras. Sí, la embarcación. Algo el barco. Uh -huh. El barco, mientras el barco y es. Uh -huh. mientras. es mientras el barco esté en el, ¿En el? En el mar. Ajá, en el mar, en el océano. Ajá. Ok, ¿qué le contestó Brad? That's ok. Uh -huh. eh, está, ¿cómo está bien? Ajá, está bien, ajá. ¿Y de ahí? Está bien. I don't Yo, mind. I do my working laws or Yo. No me importa. Uh -huh. I don't no mind. Me no me importa. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Qué no le importa? Trabajar largas horas. Eso. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y de ahí. If the pay. In the pay. In the pay. Eh, y como pagar es bueno. La paga es uh -huh. bueno. 
eso, si el pago es bueno. Ajá, no le importa. Dice. Ajá, y de ahí la pregunta. What's the phone number? ¿Cuál es tu número de teléfono? No, tú no dice ahí. ¿Qué es ah, what's? ¿Qué? What's qué? What's the es el artículo. No es your phone number. Ahí de, está traduciendo what's your phone number. Y ahí es what's the phone, phone number. ¿Cuál es el número de teléfono? Eso. ¿Y qué le contestó? Es 555-3455. Eso. Bien, le costó, pero lo hizo. <ríe> bien, <Yeah>. bien, bien. <ríe> Traducción. Sudan cuando traducen, veo yo. <ríe> yes. <ríe> ok, let's go. Nervios. De, de audio. A ver si quiere este volado. Practice. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? How about this? A door-to-door -door salesperson to sell baby products. Like diapers and things? No thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling, and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. What's the phone number? It's 555-3455. Part B. Listen to Brad call about the job. What else does the job require? Holiday Cruise Lines. Hello? I'm calling about the assistant entertainment director job that's advertised online. Is it still available? Yes, it is. There's just one thing we didn't mention in the advertisement. Do you speak any other languages? No, not really. Oh, we're really looking for someone who can speak at least one other language. We probably should have included that in the ad. I'm sorry. Okay. What else does require the job? For the assistant entertainment director, did you listen to that? Yes. ¿Qué más le pidió la señora? No, another language. Eso, another language. ¿Y el que le dijo? The no. Que no que podía, no. ¿verdad? Que solo podía uno. <ríe> bueno, no le dijo exactamente que podía uno, pero le dijo que no podía hablar más. Entonces ella le dijo que no. Que, que no. Cuando él habló, preguntó que hablaba por el anuncio donde pedían esa posición. Entonces ella le dijo, sí, le dijo. Entonces él le dijo que había, ella le dijo que había un, un requerimiento más que no se había puesto en el anuncio, que sí sabía más lenguajes. Y él le dijo que no. Él le dijo, ah, le dijo. Entonces vamos a seguir buscando a alguien que sepa más lenguajes. Debimos haber puesto eso en el anuncio. O sea, que un montón de gente ha llamado y ninguno cumple con el requisito porque ellos no lo pusieron. Ok, let's move to the other lesson. Let's see. Do you have questions, kids? Anything that you want to know? No, teacher. Okay. Siguiente. Lesson objective. Remember, tomorrow we have class because we were not having yesterday. So we will uh, we will replace this class tomorrow. Same schedule, eight o'clock. Okay, by the end of this class, you will learn how to make statements with gerunds and giving short responses. 
Al final de esta clase aprenderán a cómo hacer oraciones usando gerundios y dar respuestas cortas. Short responses is like eh, no thanks. Cosas así chiquitas, ¿verdad? Que estaban en el otro diálogo, pero ahora nos van a explicar cómo. Ready to know about gerunds and short responses? Follow us in the audio program and stay with us for more explanation. Gerunds, short responses. Affirmative statements with gerunds. I like traveling. Agree. So do I. Disagree. Oh, I don't. I hate working on weekends. So do I. Really? I like it. I'm good at using a computer. So am I. Gee, I'm not. Negative statements with gerunds. I don't mind working long hours. Agree. Neither do I. Disagree. Well, I do. I'm not good at selling. Neither am I. I am. I can't stand making mistakes. Neither can I. Oh, I don't mind. Other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love. Enjoy. Be interested in. Aquí vamos a traducir esto porque creo que lo va a confundir. El término neither do I. Arriba dice eh, gerundios, respuestas cortas. En oraciones afirmativas con gerundios tenemos en acuerdo y en desacuerdo entonces le dice la, la frase I like traveling me gusta viajar el gerund no se traduce como viajando sino que se traduce como viajar como un verbo normal en español pero en inglés traveling es como una acción continua no tiene así como eh, Precisamente por eso se ocupa el gerund para ponerlo como un nombre. En esta vez no funciona. Eh, eh, sí se pone en inglés como, como una acción, como un verbo, pero en español se traduce como un nombre. Me gusta viajar. Entonces, para mostrar acuerdo se le puede decir so do I. Como no hay el verbo to be, ¿verdad? sino que es el auxiliar do, entonces le ponen so do I, que significa yo también. Eso significa el so do I. Si lo traducimos así más específicamente es entonces yo también. Así sería. Y el disagree es oh I don't. O oh, yo no. No le gusta viajar, ¿verdad? Porque podríamos sustituir el I con no. Oh, I don't like traveling. O también podemos decir so do I like traveling. Pero para no agregar todo ese complemento se pone so do I. Ahora la otra. I hate, I hate working on weekends. Yo odio trabajar en fines de semana. Entonces en agree es yo también. So do I. Disagree, really? I like it. De veras, a mí me gusta. I'm good at using a computer. Yo soy bueno o buena usando una computadora. Le dice, agree, so am I. Yo también. Eh, sería, yo también soy, porque es so am I. Yo también soy. Y le dice, gui. I'm not. Gui es una expresión como de decir, uchica, yo no. 
es una expresión así como de admiración. Gui. A veces en los, en los muñequitos, en los periódicos sale esa expresión. Es como gui. Cuando es sorpresa. Gui. I'm not. Ahora en oraciones negativas con gerundios. Le dice. I don't mind working long hours. No me importa trabajar largas horas. Y le contestan para hacer como, un, como que está, como que yo le muestra como que también lo mismo, ¿verdad? Pero en español nosotros tenemos yo tampoco. Es una negación en realidad, pero lo que estamos haciendo es estando de acuerdo con la oración. Entonces, I don't mind working long hours. Neither do I. A mí tampoco. Me importa estar trabajando largas horas. Pero si disagree, cambia positivo, a pesar que sea un, un desacuerdo. Well, I do. Bien, yo, a mí sí me importa. O sea, a mí sí me importa. Como la frase es, no me importa, entonces mm, podría decir, bueno, a mí sí. A mí sí me importa. Dice, I'm not good at selling. Yo no soy bueno ven, vendiendo. Ahí sí. ¿Por qué solo lo, tradu ¿por qué lo traducimos con el ing? Porque es at. There is a preposition before the verb. So, podemos, eh, no, no se traduce como la forma eh, básica, ¿verdad? De la, de la, en el, en la, ¿Cómo que se llama en español? Se llama como la forma base, ¿verdad? I'm not good at selling. Yo no soy buena en la venta o vendiendo. Y el agree le contesta con una frase negativa. Yo tampoco. Neither am I. ¿Por qué am I? Porque en la frase estamos usando I'm not. That is verb to be. Entonces eh, contestamos con el verbo to be también. Y en el disagree, que es como que está en desacuerdo de lo que le están diciendo, le dice I am, como yo sí soy, yo sí soy buena vendiendo, ¿verdad? Yo soy, yo sí soy. O como contestamos en español, yo sí, I am, con el verbo to be. Ahora, en la otra estamos usando un modal verb, que es I can't. I can't stand making mistakes. Yo no puedo me permanecer cometiendo errores. I can't. Entonces, la contestación que muestra agree tiene lo mismo, los tres, neither do I, neither am I, neither can I, son eh, yo tampoco. Las tres significan yo tampoco. Pero, ¿qué pasa? Usan diferente auxiliar. En la primera ocupan do, porque es I don't. En la otra ocupan am, because it's I'm not. Y en la tercera ocupan can I, because the sentence is I can't stand making mistakes. Entonces se usa el auxiliary que se está ocupando. Y en el disagree de la tercera le dice, oh, I don't mind. Mm, o oh, a mí no me importa. No le importa pasar cometiendo errores toda la vida. So this guy is clear. Neither is another way to answer. Podemos contestar también en la forma más normal, ¿verdad? Que la gente contesta es, I like traveling. Oh, I like too. <ríe> Así le contestan la mayoría de gente. Pero cuando ya sabemos el inglés, ¿verdad? Ya aprendemos un poquito más, ya I like traveling. Oh, so do I. A la par del neither, hay otro que sin la N, con la N significa tampoco. Pero sin la N, que es either, significa yo también. So we can, we can answer, I like traveling, so do I, or either do I. Sin la N. Y significan lo mismísimo. Lo mismísimo. I hate working on weekends. Either do I. Or I do either. Cuando se contesta al final, I do either. Tal vez esa va a ser el, lo que conteste al final, eh, lo que siga ahorita, quiero ver. Love. 
enjoy, be interested in. Let's talk about gerunds. Remember, a gerund is a verb plus ing. Today we will make reference to verbs or phrases that are followed by a gerund. Like, hate, good at, as well as, don't mind, not good at, can stand. So feel free to say, I like eating pizza. She hates cooking. They're good at writing poetry. Or, I don't mind listening to people's problems. He's not good at playing sports. You can't stand cheating on a test. If you notice, you may change the subject. Just make sure you conjugate the verbs properly. Before we go, we want you to look into the chart. Notice we have all the verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love, enjoy, be interested in. The way to use these verbs and phrases is the same as we did on the previous examples. Short responses with so and neither are ways of agreeing. For example, we use so to agree with a positive statement. I need to find a job. So do I. Neither to agree with a negative statement. I don't like working long hours. Neither do I. Did you realize that with both so and neither, we use the verb from the original statement? Also, keep in mind we place the subject or noun or pronoun after the verb. Hello, did you notice when we have an affirmative statement, we agree by using so? plus auxiliary plus subject. And when we have a negative statement, we agree by saying neither plus auxiliary plus subject. For example, if I say to you, I like reading books, you may answer by saying, so do I. Or if I say to you, I don't mind talking to him, you may do by saying, neither do I. As said in the explanation, there are some verbs that are always followed by gerunds. We will share them with you so you may practice. Okay, so we have these verbs followed by gerunds. Can you please uh, complete with gerunds, please? What could be admit? Admitting. Exactly. Advice. Advising. Uh -huh. Appreciate. Pray Appreciating. Uh -huh. Avoid. Avoiding. Uh -huh. Begin. Beginning. Complete. Completing. Consider. Considering. Deny. Denying. Mm, no, it's not denying, it's denying. Without the strong uh, accent with J. Denying. Okay, and then discuss. Mm. ¿Se quita la Y? No, no, lo que pasa es que, es que, vaya, deny, solo agrégale la ING. Entonces, denying. Mm. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ok. Ok, and discuss. Discussing. Uh -huh. Forget. Forgetting. Keep. 
Keeping. Keeping. Postpone. Postponing. Uh -huh. Prefer. Preferring. Mm -hmm. Recommend. Recommending. Mm -hmm. Regret. Regretting. Regretting. Uh -huh. And suggest. Suggesting. Okay. That is nice. Let me see here. Before we go, we want you to agree on the following statements. I love hiking. I'm not. Okay. I love hiking. What do you say if you agree with me? So do I. Exactly. I'm not good at swimming. Neither do I. Neither oh do no, I. neither I am. Neither do I. Mm -hmm. No, neither I am. Yeah, yeah. Neither I am. Because it is verb to be. Let me see if that I... swimming. As always, respond on our discussion box. Solo dos eran, pensé que eran tres. <laughs> okay, is this clear? Or do you want me to play again the video? Mm, I know, teacher. I know. What is I? I um difficult um it is difficult for you you didn't understand that uh no i know no al 100% bye don't mind aquí está lo gerundio verdad con respuestas cortas Cuando está en afirmación, en oraciones afirmativas con gerundios como I like traveling, el negativo sería I don't like traveling. Entonces, para mostrar acuerdo, va a ocupar so do I. Y el so do I es porque usted está en I like traveling y en I hate work on weekends, ocupa el auxiliar do. O dos, ¿verdad? Pero como es I, tiene que ser do, porque es primera persona. Entonces, para mostrar acuerdo es I like traveling, so do I. Así contesta. Para decir yo también. Disagree. Mm -hmm. O I don't. ¿Verdad? O I don't. Si ve la disagree, no sé ninguna regla. Simplemente dice no, yo no, yo aquí. Realmente a mí sí me gusta. O sea, es una respuesta como que no, que no sigue ninguna regla. Pero el acuerdo sí lo tiene que contestar con el so. Ahora, en las oraciones negativas, por ejemplo, que no afirmo, sino que digo negativo de algo. I don't mind working long hours. No me importa trabajar largas horas. Entonces le contesta con el neither. Si está en negativo, le contesta neither do I. O neither I am en la segunda porque es el verb to be. I'm not good at selling. Y en el otro, como comienza, I can't le va a contestar neither can I. Le da vuelta. ¿verdad? Eso es lo que, lo que tiene que hacer. Si lo traduce es yo tampoco puedo, yo tampoco soy, yo tampoco. En la primera. Yo tampoco, neither am I, yo tampoco soy, neither can I, yo tampoco puedo. Eso es lo que está haciendo. Mostrando acuerdo o desacuerdo. Con las frases afirmativas Lo va a mostrar diciendo, so do I. Y en las, si lo muestran desacuerdo, le dicen, oh, I don't, really, I like it. Y I'm not. Cualquier cosa que se lo por ahí que, que muestre que, que no, ¿verdad? Pero en la negativa siempre tiene que contestar con el neither. Neither do I, neither I am, neither can I. Quiero ver, pues, tengo un mensajito aquí. ¿Quién es? En la noche, recuerda que la siente que la haces a las nueve. Ok, sí, yo sé. <laughs> ok, well, if you want, 
you, we can continue and review this uh, one more time tomorrow. So uh, you can be clear on this. We will make uh, like examples, more examples. So you can have uh, this topic more clear. Is that okay with you? No. Okay, teach. Okay, okay. Uh, try to see the, the, the video, uh, Catherine, right? Try to see the video and, and try to understand. So uh, we, we can review it uh, if you have questions for tomorrow, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, okay. Have a good night, kids. See you tomorrow. Don't forget it. Good night. Bye, bye, bye teacher. Bye. Good night. Good night.